Bradley Butler. And the 11 of Ryan Ashmore on the front row. 10 laps for your vintage. If I was a betting man, I'd watch the 12. That car won the uh, National Short Track Championship in the sportsman division here a couple of weeks ago with Austin Mason behind the wheel, and we are underway for the first vintage heat. We're going to go three wide for the first time today. They made it work. It's going to be Ashmore that'll lead lap number one. Melchior going to go to the inside. And he'll take the lead off of two. Alan Kowicki back out front at Rockford Speedway. Now here comes that 12 machine, Lover. He's looking for second. Gonna have to contend with Lynn though. Lynn gonna try to take his 43 to the outside. He'll power that Nova up to third. They close in on the 11 match where somebody out there is popping and banging like crazy. It may be the 11 sitting there in second. Nope. Now as they come by the stand here, it's definitely deeper in the field. But the 11, as you see Ashmore off the pace a little bit, he'll give up the second spot to Lover and the third spot to Lynn. No problems for Ashmore. He's got a right rear flat. And Lover around. Scott Lover goes around over there in turn number two. Brings out the yellow. This helps the 11 of Ashmore. So he's able to get off the racing surface without having to contend with any more cars. And he'll drive his way to the pit. And we got the eight machine of Butler trying to advance a little early. Sankey says, that's all right. We're going to drop the leash. We'll go green. Alcior and Lover separate themselves from the field. Lover gonna try to work the middle of the racetrack and get underneath him. Melchior leads it. That should be lap number five. That would put us halfway through this one. No transponders on these cars. No radios in these cars. You want to run a vintage car, you got to do it the way that they did it back in the day. All by feel. You hear that guy creeping up on the inside or outside to know whether he's there. White flag coming out for Melchior. He's opened up a gap on Lover. It's going to be smooth sailing to the checkers for that number 97 of Melchior driver out of Watertown and his 1979 Camaro. Oh, down there in victory lane, that's that's cool. Alan Kowicki has found his way back to victory lane at the Rockford Speedway by virtue of Eric Melchior, driver out of Watertown. Getting the belts undone, getting ready to climb up out of that thing. Get some pictures taken. Our friends at Misfit Productions down there, as well as Kim Kemperman. There he goes, 
Getting that helmet undone. The window net is down. Getting ready to climb it out of the car. Race fans, make some noise for the winner of the first Upper Midwest Vintage Racing Series heat. How about it for Eric Melchior?